Hey there, Tracy Noriega paying it forward to you on this Mindful Monday. Hello everyone. And uh, last week we talked about energy and this uh, conversation, well, it goes on and continues from energy because as we're learning, everything is energy and that includes our thoughts and our uh, feelings and uh, the things we say are all energy. And um, so one of the big things that I have uh, been learning in this whole entrepreneurial journey and just inner work journey uh, <laughs> is that the uh, the power of visualization has come up over and over again. And it may seem like one of those things where we're like, you know, hmm, really? But yeah, really, it is. <laughs> it's quite powerful. Uh, the power of visualization. And um, I mean, there's even scientific stuff. So you know what? I'm going to put at the end of this video, should you make it that far, I'll put on uh, Mel Robbins. Because again, if you haven't seen that, um, I have been uh, following her in doing her Mindset Reset, which has been fabulous. And her first video uh, that she kicked off this whole thing with was about visualization, the power of visualization and all the scientific, you know, uh, mumbo jumbo to support that visualization is in fact very effective and necessary, especially when we're going to change what our beliefs and our perceptions and how we see the world, we have to learn how to see it another way. So, um, with that in mind, we, the, the basis of visualization, because some people will say, well, I'm not really good at that. Well, actually you are, <laughs> and, and we're good at being bad at it, I guess you would say, uh, because visualization is really using your imagination. And a lot of us um, stopped exercising our imagination early on, um, being told to stop daydreaming and, you know, what are you doing? And when we would make up stuff or things we wanted to do and be told that that's silly or that'll never happen or what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Right. So we stopped using it and, um, you know, we, we need to learn to use it again. Um, and so visualization is based in imagination and I like how uh, Mary Morrison uh, talks about worrying is the misuse of imagination. So we do use visualization because many times, and I know if you think about it, you do it too. We um, can instantly come up with the worst case scenario, right? Um, you didn't, you didn't get a call uh, back from maybe your partner, your spouse, your kid, and you start thinking of every reason of what could have happened. Um, and it's usually not good, right? And, uh, we didn't get something in the mail. Um, you know, we go to all these other stories in our head. So that in mind, it's being conscientious of when we do that, because I know I had shared that in a video with Marissa Peer, which was very powerful for, to me. And I still repeat it to myself. She says the two biggest things that, you know, that we need to use our mind because it's so powerful is to realize, uh, the, the things that we say to ourselves. So the story we have in our head that we make up and the, um, images that we make. So we, we, whether we realize it or not, we're making up a story <laughs> and telling it to ourselves and we're making up a picture and seeing something happen in a certain way. So when we can become aware of what we're doing, what we're visualizing, what we're telling ourselves and then go, you know what? That is not the outcome that I want. That is not the experience that I want to be having right now. And the simple fact that we can choose our thoughts and we can choose to see a different outcome. Um, and it's, it's another perspective, if you will. So, um, with that in mind, uh, is to start making time. And that was something that, uh, Mel says, even Bob Proctor says, uh, Mary, Mary Morrison, um, Peggy McCall, uh, even Abraham Hicks about the power of visualization of seeing the outcome that you would like. And even going so far as 
pretending like we used to do when we were kids, right? Let's pretend, let's pretend I'm, you know, and we're doing this and we're here and we're doing that. Well, let's pretend, you know, right now I'm pretending we have the pool in the backyard <laughs> and talking about it, about what's going to happen this summer and all the pool parties and barbecues and stuff that we're going to have. So it's visualizing it. And yes, you can make, you know, your picture boards and stuff that does help, but it's also the most effective they've shown is the closing your eyes and actually spending time when you're calm, visualizing the outcome that you want and, and, and getting, and getting fantasizing about it. We used to do it all the time, fantasizing about what that is and how it feels the, the even more, you know, powerful, uh, of, of getting not just the visual of it, but the feeling of it, the emotion, like how, how would you feel? I'm going to feel fabulous when I'm in my hot tub and all those jets are just, you know, totally massaging me and I'm so relaxed that I have to like peel myself out of there and just, you know, fall asleep in bed. Oh, it's going to be so good. Or when it's going to be so hot um, and, and I get home and all I can do, I can do the nest tea plunge straight into, into the pool in my backyard, you know, so visualizing it, feeling it and, and, and going through those motions and okay? and catch yourself. That's a big thing. Catch yourself when you're doing the opposite, when you're going into thinking about something playing out badly and, and, and telling yourself about other things that are not the way you'd really like them to be. Uh, so, um, bringing that self-awareness there and uh, I'll put some videos there and some stuff down there. I'm going to keep it kind of brief today because I know my videos have been long and I do want you to finish them. <laughs> I do want it to be something that you get something out of. So hopefully that did. And like I said, at the end of this video, I'll put, you know, whether it's here or there, uh, some ones of the, uh, uh, Bob Proctor ones talking about, and I'll see if I can find something else from Marissa Peer and the other people I mentioned, Mary Morrissey and Peggy McCall on the topic of that. And if not, I'll put them in links below. Okay. So, Hey, wishing you an awesome day. May you have lots of joy, love, happiness, prosperity, and abundance. Okay. You take care and see you next week. Cheers.